I, I kind of am doing what I set up to do, which is um, kind of falling in love with myself all over again, you know? So you're yeah, to... like totally geeking out about the show. I am, I'm geeking out. Um, and uh, yeah, the whole experience was almost like psychedelic, otherworldly. Yeah. And um, I I'm just so grateful that I got to be a part of it. Um, I'm rocking my Cooper Petey hat, which is where we filmed it, which is, if you don't know, it's in Australia. And it's like, is it's about as close to Mars as you can find on, you know, planet Earth. Mm -hmm. And I just, I'm, I was so charmed by the whole city. I got to stay in this, like a lot of the places they have are underground there because it's so hot. Mm -hmm. So by necessity, they have like these cool underground bunkers, underground homes. I stayed at this one called, oh, I think it was called the Lookout Cave before we started filming. And I was so cozy in there. It was very like, um, what's that Danish term? It was very Hugie. Huga? Huga? Oh, you remember no. that one? I haven't. It's like a Danish term for like being comfortable, you know, maybe like the Christmas lights are on, you got your warm fuzzy socks, but it was very cozy in there. Just the, the whole experience filming in Cooper PD was awesome. Yeah. I yeah, mean, it, so. it seems like it's such a cool premise and it seems like you guys had a lot of fun, but when they called you and they were like, you know, we want you to take some a break from your life, you know, go film on Mars, quote unquote. Was there any ever has any hesitation of doing the show ever? Um, <laughs> yes, there was a little bit of hesitation. Um, I'm always open to adventure. And, and of course, I, I love to say yes. Um, but, you know, I've never I haven't done a lot of stuff outside of Vanderpump rules, you know, um, in terms of unscripted stuff. And uh, I was like a little wary until um, until the fateful Zoom with um, one of the executive producers. His name is Wes Denning. Uh, shout out to Wes, by the way. We did a little Zoom and he sort of introduced me to their vision. And I just sort of was seduced. Um, his energy like about the whole project was very infectious. And they showed me like some, some, some peaks, some hints, uh, at, at the vision board. And once I saw the concept and I got a better idea of what we're going to be doing and how immersive it was going to be, I was like, sign me up. I was giddy. And, um, you know, I, I felt like I was fulfilling some sort of childhood dream of, you know, being an astronaut. Like, right. So yeah, Wes completely won me over. And like his, his enthusiasm for the project was a major selling point. Um, you know, if I was on the fence, he, he, he was the deciding factor. So, um, yeah, it's awesome. It is. I mean, and you were completely separated from the real world for several weeks on this show. So what would, what would you say was the most challenging best part about this? Because obviously it's physically, mentally, probably emotionally taxing as well. Um, they, well, they did a really good, yeah, they did a really good job of suspending belief. You know what I mean? Like I said before, it was it was super immersive and it, they did a good job of making us feel like we were about to embark on a journey mm -hmm. to another planet, sure. the red planet, Mars. You yeah. know, it's like we I, we didn't really get to meet any of the cast before we started. And anytime we traveled anywhere, they blacked out all the windows. So so um, it was cool. It was a little discombobulating, but, you know, it, it, it led it, it just made the big reveal so much more awesome. Yeah. You know, it really did. So, yeah, it, it was it was like it was it was the thought of. OK, let's be honest. I have a little bit of addiction to my phone. I'm averaging eight to nine hours screen time right now. Full full transparency. I'm not proud of that. Mm -hmm. So I was excited about the idea of disconnecting a little bit. And, you know, it might have been the most fortuitous time for a retreat like this, a little sabbatical you know a little adventure in my life so it was a welcome retreat and like honestly it was kind of a gift from the gods and i'm so grateful to both networks for letting me do it um yeah so uh yeah and it, but i guess one of the biggest challenges you know just just having opened a new bar mm -hmm. you know I, I felt i felt a little bit of guilt i felt kind of like i was abandoning ship but um you know and of course i if i if i just completely checked out my mom would kill me Right. Um, so yeah, I guess, I guess I had a little bit of separation anxiety from the phone mm -hmm. and, and the addiction. Yeah. I, I'm addicted to my phone. Yeah, I think but, most of us are. By the end of it, were you like, give me my phone back or were you like, all right, this kind of feels nice to be disconnected a little bit and, you know, kind of turn it off a bit. 
Yeah, I mean, listen, I w- in the beginning, I was fiending. I became a little claustrophobic in the new space, you know? And I'm just so, I, I guess, I guess it just, it, it put into perspective how dependent and addicted I am to my phone. Like, I, I need to take a break. I need to, I need to go on, like, a, a prolonged retreat where I disconnect from the internet. Um, but until then, this was like the perfect remedy, you know? Yeah, totally. I mean, you kind of said this a little bit, but Lance Armstrong said the long game was brutal and the mental side was torture. Would you kind of describe it the same way? Um, like, I, I think, <laughs> I think in the beginning, I did get a little claustrophobic. I truly did. Not like anxiety ridden levels of claustrophobia, but like all of a sudden the air felt a little stagnant. You know, but you know, the, the 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 spirit and the camaraderie of the rest of the cast mm-hmm. always helped me get over that real quick. You know, um, I like the, the the camaraderie from everybody there was unmatched, and um, you know, all of a sudden, everything didn't seem so bad anymore. You know, within a day or two, I had acclimated to to our to life on Mars, our habitat, and um, you know, I sort of fell in love with it. Mm-hmm. Did you uh, did you know the other cast members who was going to be there before you signed up for the show? And was there anybody that you were really looking forward to? Or when you got there, you were like, oh, my God, I can't believe I'm going to be on Mars with this person. No, no, no. As you see everyone walking in, those are yeah. genuine reactions. I had no idea who was going to be there. Um, I mean, all right. Adam Rapon and um, uh, Tallulah were actually on my flight. <laughs> and I recognize them imme- I recognize them immediately. But other than that, you know, they did a really good job of keeping everything under wrap. I had no idea who was gonna walk through those doors. Mm-hmm. And one by one, I just got happier and happier. Like I I was a little starstruck. Mm-hmm. I felt a little bit out of my league, not to be like, you know, Mr. Self-deprecating guy, but I was a little starstruck for the first few days. Who left you completely starstruck then? Um I mean, this is such a lame answer. But all of them, yeah. like I, I was familiar with all of them. And, you know, after a few days in the habitat, you start to break down barriers. And all of a sudden, we, got, we within like a day or two, we, I felt like a family, a unit, a team, yeah. you know? Um, and uh, I, I, it was awesome. We got to know each other so fast and we bonded immediately, you know? Yeah. Is there a Stars on Mars group chat now? Like, who are you closest with? <laughs> um, let's see. Afterwards, I mean, I still chatted a little bit with Rhonda, uh, mm-hmm. with Lance, um, Adam, uh, Tallulah, but there's not a Stars on Mars group chat. Not that I know of. If there is, I'm not part of it. Oh, no. It might be, though. <laughs> but, um, I've, you know, I've, I've kept in touch with a lot of people individually. And, uh, yeah, I was just so charmed with that entire cast. Yeah. I really was. Yeah. We have a double elimination coming up uh, in this upcoming week. What can you expect from that? What, and what would you say was the most challenging week for you? Let's see. Um, I think the most the most challenging. Um, what do you mean? The most challenge, like the most challenging um, competition? Basically, yeah, the most challenging competition that you were like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to complete this. Um, I- I'll tell you the most awesome one, though. like the, the moment I felt like we were actually on another planet the most was when we had to go out and we had to erect the, um, <laughs> the communication tower and reattach the satellites and everything. There was a full blown dust storm and we had it in our mouth like we couldn't breathe. It was chaotic uh, in that moment in particular. I truly felt like I was on another planet. Yeah. Um, they did a great job of creating, you know, a realistic environment. Mm-hmm. And like I, like I think I alluded to before, it's like, I mean, they really, really dedicated the, the entire production team to dedicated this to feeling like Mars. Every time we walked outside, we had to have our, you know, our helmets on and everything. And yeah, it was just, they did a great job. What would you say that you learned about yourself the most throughout this process? Um, oh, what did I learn about myself? What did I learn about myself? I learned that... I thrive with adventure. Mm-hmm. I thrive with levity. Um, <laughs> we don't, that's, well, no, we have a nice balance of levity on, on our show, but mm-hmm. um, I really, I, I needed a good dose of levity and adventure. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, that's it. And it just like, I don't know, I guess 
I guess from like the past few years, I, I floundered a little bit, you know? I floundered a little bit and, you know, I, I, I kind of feel like I fell apart, but I don't know, coming up here, I just, I, it gave me a fresh perspective on everything. Um, it gave me the overview effect. I know I talk about that a lot, but it's like when astronauts go up and they look back down on Earth and all of a sudden they get this like, you know, cognitive shift. They look at the world differently. They have a fresh, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I needed to just reset my mind and, 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 and I accomplished that up there. I really did. Um, I was stuck in my own little, I don't know, my own little sad story, kind of wallowing a little bit for the past year. And um, yeah, it snapped me out of it. And I, I feel like I'm myself again. Yeah, I, you said that. You said that you felt like yourself again after this experience. Do you feel like a new version of you or do you feel like the old Tom or do you feel like the, the new and improved Tom? I feel like, um, <laughs> I feel like Tom, what version of Tom is this? Maybe, let's say 5.0. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm refined maybe a little more stoic. I feel, I feel um, just a little bit more ready to take on whatever life throws at me, you know? Um, yeah, like I, I haven't been necessarily proud of how I've responded to some adversity in the past like year. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I just feel a, a little more confident. Um, it was, it was therapeutic in a way up there. Yeah, I mean, how do you feel like this show maybe prepped you for the next season of Vanderpump, if it did at all? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can prepare you right. for another season of Vanderpump Rules. <laughs> Seriously. But, I mean, listen, like, while I was up there, I, 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 I did shovel a lot of shit. <laughs> and we ended up having to, you know, repurpose that for fertilizer. And I don't know, I, maybe there's a metaphor there. <laughs> Maybe there's something I can glean heading into the next season, you know, and I'll just I'll leave it at that. Yeah, yeah I know that the filming begins uh, fairly soon. I mean, what's <laughs> what's your headspace going into this upcoming season 11? Uh, my headspace going into the new season. Um, you know, I think I think I have my rose colored lenses back on, mm. you know, I feel like I mean, I. I I think this is a reoccurring theme last season, last year, last few years is trying to get my Schwartz back. But, um, you know, I think I learned doing the show, going to Mars, that it was always there, you know? It was always there. I just, I just needed to like dig it out, refine it. And, um, you know, I, I, I kind of am doing what I set out to do, which is um, kind of falling in love with myself all over again, you know? I love I'm, that. This sounds this sounds super self indulgent, but no, but it's it, you yeah. know it's it, you had a a life changing experience it seems like, and it, you came out the other side. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to sound too precious about it. Like I, I, I okay, I'm getting self conscious now. I no, did this in my last I think, interview. I think it's but it, I'm just super grateful. I had such a good time, and it was yeah. like this literal one in a lifetime experience, once in a lifetime experience, you know. And uh, I'm I'm grateful that I got to be a part of it. No, you said a little bit before about how maybe you thought you would handle adversity a little bit differently, but now that after doing this show, do you feel like you re would respond to adversity challenges, maybe some scandals a little bit differently going forward? I feel like I'll be a little more stoic moving forward, you know? Um, you know, maybe, maybe I, maybe I waffled a little bit, you know, um, at the beginning of the, you know, what of all, Right. And uh, I don't know, maybe, I don't know how deep I want to get into that, but of course, I yeah. just, I just, um, I, I, I kind of retreated within, you know? But what advice would you give yourself knowing what you know now about joining a reality TV show? And what, what would you say maybe is the biggest regret that you have over this past few months? Um, Whether that be on Stars <laughs> on Mars or anything else. Um, let's see, you know, I don't know, maybe take more pride in your appearance. <laughs> like, you know, moving forward, I, I like thinking about, you know, how I, I, I feel like I've rocked Moomoo's for half of the duration of Vanderpump Rules, you know? Um, and, and listen, I'm kind of a scrub by nature. I like to be cozy. I like Hugo, but you know, maybe, you know, now that I'm single, uh, maybe I need to polish up my act a little bit, you know? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do that. I'm going to step my game up and uh, try to be a little more suave, a little more, 
debonair. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's like, you know, I just, I got, I'm a scrub. I gotta be honest, I'm a scrub. But I'm gonna polish myself up this year, you know? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get the makeover that I intended to do last year. So are you excited to bring this Tom, new polished Tom 5.0 to the new season of Vanderpump then? Are you are you nervous about it? I mean I'm always slightly terrified when we start a new season. Um we've been through so much with this group and um <laughs> We're a volatile crew. We've always been a volatile group of friends. All of my other friends outside of this group, you know, I don't think I've ever had an argument outside of this group, to be honest. But, you know, uh, it comes from a place of love. We have a lot of history together and um, there's been trials and tribulations. But, you know, there it comes from a place of love. And, uh, you know, even when we're upset with each other. Uh, I feel like it's earned, you know, it comes, yeah, it comes from a place of love. I don't know. I don't know. I'm scared. I am scared to start filming again, but grateful 11 seasons. My God, who would have thought? It's amazing. Just, it really is. Just, just a group of people working at Sir, hanging out, chasing dreams in Los Angeles and uh, 11 seasons later, you know. Well, I wish you luck, um, and, and and I'm so glad that you had such a great experience on Stars and Mars. It's such a fun show. It really is. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I'm grateful I got to be a part of it. And it's it was just awesome, you know? Definitely. It really was. For more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.